Hello, in today's video I'd like to showcase a special type of filming material. This material aims to make support removal a thing of the past, at least for smaller prints, and prints with complicated structures. It is a water-soluble filament, this is why it primarily acts as a support filament. While other support material requires removal, using careful cutting and sanding, PVA simplifies the process by just being submerged in water and dissolving, leaving only the model standing. Not only does it completely disappear, you also don't need to worry about sanding the model or doing any touch-ups. This sounds like too good to be true, so what's the catch? It is $40 for 500 grams. Oh god, no! Please, no! Yes, the price tag may seem a bit too steep for some people, that's why, in my opinion, this particular filament should only be used for support removal when dealing with miniatures or complex structures where it's really troublesome to remove this support. If you're confident that your print can be removed using regular supports, then do not buy this filament. Um, but if you're into 3D printing miniatures and complex structures, then um, I, I would highly suggest you get this filament. This is one of the best support filaments you can possibly buy. Now let me show you how to use PVA before you start printing with it. Open up your slicing program. In my case, I will be using Bamboo Studio. Click to add additional filament. Choose the type of filament this will be. In our case, it's PVA. Now head over to support section. Select your preferred support. Scroll down till you find a section that allows you to select which filament you want to use for supports. Choose PVA. Slice and print the model. Note that this will also increase how long it takes for your print to complete, because by choosing to make your supports a different filament, your printer will require to make color changes or filament swaps for each layer. Once you're finished with your print, if there's an excess amount of supports that can be removed without damaging the model, go ahead and do so, in order to fast forward the support removal process. For this video, I won't be removing any of it manually, as I want to show how PVA reacts when introduced to water. Find yourself a waterproof container that will accommodate your model. Fill it up with water and place your model inside. Now this is where the magic begins. But before we continue, I would like to say a big thank you to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Just as I'm covering PVA in this video, you can upload your models to PCBWay in order to try out different types of material that exist in 3D printing. Give PCBWay a visit to see what else they have to offer. Or should I say hydration and dissolution? In chemistry, a hydration reaction is a chemical reaction in which a substance combines with water. Hydroxyl groups within PVA's polymer chain interact with water molecules as hydroxyl groups are hydrophilic, meaning they are attracted to water. Hydroxyl groups form a hydrogen bond which breaks the polymer chains. As water penetrates PVA structure, the polymer begins to swell, which in turn loosens the structure. The polymer chains begin to separate from each other, reducing the intermolecular forces within the polymer and disperses chains into the surrounding water. As PVA continues dissolving, it forms a homogeneous solution in water. The polymer chains are now evenly distributed in the solvent. Oh, science! If you like this video so far, please consider subscribing, as I'll be making similar content in the future. Alright, so over 8 hours have passed since I submerged this model in water, and as we can see, pretty much all of the PVA has dissolved, leaving only the model without me ever touching the supports. I chose this particular model because I know for a fact that there would be a zero chance for me to successfully remove regular supports without breaking the model's hair. Now when you're done printing and using PVA, I would highly suggest drying this filament, as it is very hygroscopic. Once you dry it, don't forget to vacuum seal it. So now you should have a good understanding what PVA does and how it benefits people in 3D printing. Do you think its price tag is too steep or is it justified? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to say a big thank you for watching this video, hoping that you found it informative and that you managed to walk away with newly found knowledge. And I'll see you in the next one.